Okay, so it's the first day of the election campaign. I'm here with Pascal Donoghue and Deirdre Duffy uh, here on Hope Avenue, uh, on Cade Law, on Old Town Con, on Shaw Air, Oscar Dokish. And no better place than to do our first canvas than here on Hope Avenue. Uh, Got my attention to spread <coughs> the plague around the world by sending these packages out. It is simply to draw the attention of my the attention that I'm dying for the plague, and that if I die, based upon the fact that I've spent a thousand over a thousand days trying to get better, <coughs> and in so doing, this plague with all its HIV and and uh, meningitis and all that crap that it is involved, which you will read, is um, no longer the same beast that it was. It may have been treatable at some point in time, but we don't know at this point in time what's going to happen. So I'm dying, and I'm dying because of Justin Trudeau, I'm dying because of, of Leo Varadakar. These people are, I mean, they're barely people to begin with, right? So they have had all the information for quite some time. <coughs> I'm very weak. I'm dying, and yet I can't get through to these people, and they just want to crucify me and make me die. So I've had to bring this to their attention, and the world, basically, to prevent me from dying as well. Dublin Central exigency where we hope to gain a seat and in many ways hope is what this election is all about. We've got a deal on Brexit, we've uh, a deal on Northern Ireland, the economy has never been stronger. We now have the opportunity over the next couple of years to put so many things that are wrong in our country right. Uh, to build uh, to prevent this version, this new version of the plague to be released into the world. Now of course Malaysia is a horrible place. They have no medical facilities, as you will find out, no doctors, it's all been bought and paid for, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a scandal and so much confusion is going to happen because of all this, because like whistleblowing and death and disease and, you know, drama, high stakes drama, all based on Justin Trudeau. This man, this person, this being, is so decrepit in every single way. He's an extraordinary criminal, which it turns out as well is um, the Prime Minister of Ireland. And Prime Minister of Ireland is way more educated, <clears throat> except he is so corrupt and dangerous. So I'm bringing all this to you. Sorry, Ireland. Sorry, England. Sorry, where it ends up, Russia, China. Brazil. This is a vital general election for the future. of the Irish people. We face enormous challenges in this country, but we have a government which is fast running out of ideas and which... Not even Russia back in, you know, 
50 years ago. This is like an animal country. You know, they are so destructive to each other. Anyway, you got it. There's no other way for me to do this, and I hope to God you respond fast. Okay, because if I die, you have a disaster on your hands. And please, by all means, to Canada. Put that man behind bars. Put all his staff, because they knew about it. When you see the amount of uh, paperwork and, and um, petitions and reports that I made to Canada, this is one defunct country. Not a, it's Canada is ready once again to take a seat at the UN Security Council. Our last term concluded a decade and a half ago in 2000. With a renewed commitment to international peace and security, now is the time for our return. Since 1945, since 1945, Canadians have accomplished extraordinary things in support of the UN's mission to promote human universal health care, to support home ownership, to put money back in people's pockets and I'm really itching and enthusiastic about the future and the opportunities this country has. Uh, so it doesn't simply understand the realities facing people on a daily basis. We need a new government that will focus on real progress in health, affordable housing, the climate change crisis and the rising cost of living. During this campaign, we will be putting forward a positive agenda for a new government that will listen. Please vote number one uh, for Fine Gael and please support Dear Jim Pascal if you're in Dublin Central. To its people. A government that is committed to working for all the people of this island. An Ireland for all. That is Fianna Fáil's commitment and philosophy. And that's what we will deliver on during this campaign and beyond. I'm trying to put the um, virus-based plasma, or whatever it is, to into bottles. Unfortunately, these are the only bottles I can get. They're not necessarily safe. I'm going to be gluing them. Um, and uh, hopefully it'll lock it in better because I would hate for it to leak out. I mean, I don't know exactly know how contagious any of this is because well, it is the the blood is the most minimal. The virus could, is also in the urine, etc. So I'm just trying to bring it to the attention of these people so that they can just tr come and save my life. Okay. So I'm not trying to create any plague, I'm just trying to show you what it is that I've been through and um, it's real, this is all real, it is full but it's real, so I think you should just destroy them when you get them. That way everybody will be safe. Because I don't know how contagious I am. Okay? And you have to arrest and put into prison Leo Varadaka, the uh, Prime Minister of Ireland, and his minions, because there were many of them that I reached out to. And as well, um, of course, Justin Trudeau and the entire Canadian government. It's great to have to be up for grab. And all the people that I reached out to are going to have to really
I, uh, my mouth opens and I don't have anything, I can hardly find a way of speaking a word. I'm falling down a lot these days, so... And I'm having hallucinations that are so terrifying. Okay, so I'm having to send out all this. This is 20 of these vials here <coughs> with notices. Uh, warning of the biohazard, the plague, virus. And this is essentially full plague. I mean, Ireland and uh, Canada. And my death is pretty close by. The pain, the ordeal is. Ex I've had strokes recently again. Anyway, point is, because I've had to take all kinds of strange <sighs> antibiotics which would have been effective against it had I been in hospital and treated under quarantine conditions. However, because of the timeline that I was forced to, you know, <clears throat> be involved with, which is since 2017, this is 2020. This plague virus is now completely in my body. Um, if I were to die without being treated or within a outside of a contained area, it is the bubonic plague at that point in time, which means I would have been, you know, killing off a, a few thousand people. However, the, the criminals have to be human rights, development, and peace and security around the world. We are determined to help the UN make even greater strides in support of its goals. Um, uh, arrested, which is the Leo Varadaka and and uh, his his crew, and the Prime Minister of Canada, who is a real monster, Justin Trudeau and his crew. So I'm just making the videos and telling everybody up front what's going on. Now it's not necessarily. It has plague virus, but through pee, not blood. Um, there's a lot of, of uh, dangerous people out there in the world who, uh, for no reason of my own, or it's just the way that they have decided to uh, to be. Okay, this UN pack bullshit is just absolutely crazy. And as for Ireland, I am so sorry that Leo. Bardaka chose to betray his country.